Hey, this is Paul, Inventor3, and today we're going to be making a video on some levitating uh, pyrolytic graphite. Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, we're just going to, nothing super controlled experiments, just having some fun today to uh, try different uh, shapes and thicknesses and different magnet arrangements and uh, just have some fun here, see what the effects are of different things here with the graphite. Um, before we get started, I want to show you something real quick. Uh, all my pyrolytic graphite now I've been getting through this guy, Adam, in Australia. Really good guy. Uh, I'm going to put all his links below this video in the description. Uh, he's got an eBay store and he's got a, a, a really cool YouTube channel. He does all kinds of cool experiments too. And uh, so subscribe to them and let me show you here this is pyrolytic graphite pieces that I've gotten in the past from uh, well-known uh, magnetic stores I'd rather not say their name because I like their magnets but they're pyrolytic graphite you can see how uneven the, the surface is the thickness is uh, the edges are this was a broken off piece of a larger square but you could still see you know that's how the edges were and the surface look at the surface uh, here's a big round piece here uh, this was square actually and I sanded it down but again you could see the surface it's really uneven and here's a little one I sanded that down from a bigger piece too a little bit of surface again you know now this is from this guy in Australia here look at that beautiful cut edges thickness real consistent he's really good at, at cutting these actually it's called cleaving look at these pieces even little tiny <laughs> and there's <laughs> so yeah I recommend definitely get your pyrolytic graphite from this guy his prices are reasonable he does a really great job even uh you know gives you a sheet here safety and how to cleave it and everything and so yeah anyhow so okay let's uh, continue I'll be right back and let's start with having some fun here and experiment okay so this is the pieces that we'll be playing with today uh, plus I have some other magnets we could try and um, Let's see, these magnets right here are neodymium, uh, three-quarter inch square each. Okay, first we'll try this big circle here. This is uh, from the well-known magnetic place. It's about seven-eighths uh, diameter. it's going to want to go right to the center of those divisions of the blocks the fields That's a little tiny one now this floats right to the center You could also use a uh, graphite from a pencil. Hmm. That's pretty neat. All right, let's try uh, one of these nice big wafers here now, and then we'll work our way right down to those two little round ones. Fragile. Whoa, whoa. It's, there we go. Wow. 
corner to corner it's almost just as big as the magnets there yeah that's why it's having a hard time nice <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay. Let's try this one. That's about uh, five eighths square. Let's see. Let's start with it that way. Should spring right in now. Boing. <laughs> Corner should go right to the lines there. Ah, oh, this one. I have to be so careful. Let's slide that one off the edge here. Whoa. Very careful, Paul. table's not perfectly leveled. That's why that's not centered there. <laughs> A little piece of paper under there too. <laughs> that's pretty cool looking. Isn't that neat looking? You gotta figure out ways to make that effect stronger. Alright. See, I got this little tiny one. Let's see if I could drop that in the middle. <laughs> Look at that. Let's take that one off. Just look at that little one. It's so tiny. A little baby. Whoops. <laughs> I got it. It's popped off there. All right, let me get some other magnets here real quick. Okay, here's another set of magnets. <clears throat> These magnets are a quarter inch square each. Uh, they add up to the same surface area as the last magnets I was showing you. It's an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Um, all the magnets I'm using here and the last magnets you saw are all uh, the strongest type too to end uh, 
not 40, I think it's 52 or something. I think that's the number. It's a 50 somethings. It's the stronger ones. So, pretty much the strongest magnets you can get here. Permanent. Um, anyhow, let's see how this works now. This is the big circle that we started with on the other magnets. Now notice how it uh, centers itself within the pattern. Of the magnets see they're all centered so you could probably move this it'll probably lock itself on centered <laughs> let's see you should be able to push it over right there yep <laughs> push it up one boing so this will not stay in the middle working off those fields let's uh, put that in this corner yeah. try that other little tiny tiny one on here whoops there we go <laughs> Uh, it's of course going to want to stay to the center of any of those magnets. Centering itself on a pattern again. So we could actually cock it a little bit. <clears throat> and notice all its corners are lining up right between the magnets, which means we should be able to rotate this a little bit more. Boing. <laughs> Boing. That's a big wafer. <laughs> okay. This one reacts. Again, you'll see all the corners line up. Hmm. All right, let's try the next one real quick. Smaller, whoops. Uh, same reaction. Let's see how this little ring does. Again, it's not, uh, my table's not perfectly level here. It's trying to center itself, I believe, right on each magnet. 
Not sure. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Wee. Hmm. Table hockey. No air. <laughs> All right. Maybe we got a new type of game there somehow, huh? Make a game out of it. Yeah, right in between the magnets. Huh, I don't know why it was tilted there for a minute. It's the fields. Huh. Going from one to the other. It's interesting. In between, moving from one section to the other. Huh. It's neat how you can get it to go on an angle like that. Sure that's because of the hole in the center of that ring. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Alright, let me try one more magnet here. <laughs> 